Hey everybody, welcome to PixelHangover.com. Up early for the brand new game, Skylanders Giants. So, this came out on a Sunday. So, honestly, if you're just now remembering and you think, oh, I gotta get to the store, I'm gonna tell you don't bother. <laughs> the stores were already pretty cleared out here. Now, I live in a pretty big city, so maybe that has something to do with it. But, uh, maybe maybe you'll luck out. So, Skylanders Giants, let's, let's get into what this is. If you were not in, you know, familiar with Skylanders uh, Spirals Adventure, uh, what you do is you have, uh, it's pretty much a, a typical just kind of a platformy type, uh, kind of third person shooter type, you know, action type game for, you know, kind of aimed at kids. But the really cool gimmick they have is you get this portal, uh, an actual physical portal that lights up and then you buy characters. All right. And then you put them on the portal and they come to life in the game. So it's actually a little bit more than that as... Your whole progress is saved on the actual character. So his XP, his levels, his money, and so forth. So you can take it to your friend's house. You can put it on a different platform. You know, if you this is a 360, I could go over to and, and throw it on my on a PS3, and it and everything goes with it. So that's the gimmick. It's really cool. So this is the new one that comes out today, as I said, and it has uh, a bunch of new ones that are the same size as before. It's got ones that light up, which is new. And then it's got giants, and that's what obviously the game's focus on. All right, so here we go. That right there is uh, where the intro sequence is, and I'll put a link to it if you want. I didn't want to take any time uh, to do the cinematic for that, but uh, what we're going to try to do today is I have three giants currently, and so the one that comes with it, and then uh, a couple more. We got Crusher and Swarm. So, and then I'm going to take uh, one of the previous. Uh, Skylanders and see how they do in here so just so you get an idea of what, 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 what it's like so I'm what I'm hoping for is a cleaner uh, maybe a smoother transition when you put stuff on there because that was kind of rough on mine before I don't know if that was a 360 thing or what but I've had I had quite a few lockups when I put a new character on my portal so I'm hoping that they fix that All right, so there we go. I just put on the first giant. Uh, I can already tell right away. Better quality animation there and stuff like that. That was really slick, nice and smooth. No transition issues there. So th he's huge. Uh, if, if you're not familiar, like I said, I will put a smaller one on here in a bit. But this is kind of like the, the kids are just crazy over this stuff. And and some adults that are uh, you know really into collecting things. I do like collecting things. I'm not crazy about these. But I think the gimmick is really cool. And so I can appreciate it. And... Um, and, and it is, it's, it's fairly fun. It is cool to level up your actual thing and collect some of them. And I, I was really late to the game on the uh, the first game. So I was able to pick up a few characters, like buy one, get one free at at Best Buy. So that was nice. So these levels are, are, are pretty cool. Um, at least they were in the first game. So what, what we'll try to do here is I'm just going to try to figure out where we need to go. There's usually multiple areas you can go to. You can easily miss uh, a treasure chest or you know a, a, a scroll or an item. Those are all like things you want to collect. But you can go back and replay any of these levels where I'm assuming you can. You could in the first. So that's one of the things that you can do uh, as a giant is is remove stuff and throw stuff. So usually if there's you know a little place if you see a little you know ooh, that looks like you might be able to go down there you might as well because there's probably treasure and so forth. So the bottom left of the screen you're going to see the treasure. Uh, add up and so uh, so you got the treasure down there and your level down there too and that bar should fill as we kill people so so far so good this is very similar to the first one it, it looks good looks great actually as I said before I'm playing on the 360 so this is probably exactly what the 360 PS3 and PC versions will look like the Wii obviously won't be HD but it'll be the same content you know just not HD and um, Here's a treasure chest. Uh, okay, so it's Y this time. Last time it was uh, move the right trigger left and right. Or, I'm sorry, right stick. So, what I can tell so far is they kind of switched everything to the Y button uh, on the 360. Anyways. Just like that, there's always stuff to break and get and get the uh, cash. And you want that cash because uh, you should be able to upgrade your Skylander for new moves and, and make it more powerful. And you can find things that, uh, like the blue something or others, that like, the butterfly looking things actually... Um, give you a discount. So here's our first look at enemies in the game. <clears throat> These guys are going to be the 
the fodder for fighting all. Okay, so you got a couple of moves right off the bat. The charge, and then there's a smash with this guy. I think it's Tree Rex, I believe. Yeah, Tree Rex is this guy's. And you can change the names. Um, it looks like we can go into a bunch of different places here. So you can change the name, you can change the nickname, and then you can actually change ownerships if you wanted to like trade with your friend. Um, it, it's really cool. Um, it, it, it's just, you know, it's another, you know, we think of Activision and they they ran uh, the Guitar Hero brand in the ground. They're, they're doing their best to run Call of Duty into the ground. And now this is their next one. And it, they, they keep hitting home runs with, you know, money just, just rolling in. And I, I can see this being a... Based on what I saw late last night and this morning, uh, this is going to be the same thing. It's going to be hard to find. I think they're pretty smart. I don't think they produce... They don't produce a ton of them right away. And so demand is super high. That's what it was last time. And definitely seems to be the case. There's some food. Just like the first game, you, you grab some food and replenish your health. Usually there's a way to get up to each one of these little platforms. This is kind of a standard, uh, at least how the first game was. So, in this, in this case, if you didn't have a, a giant on there, you would have to to get to this area. That's kind of what, what they're kind of teaching you in this, in this area. Yeah, so this is a soul gem found. <clears throat> There'll be probably one or two per level, I don't know. And basically, I think it's just if you want to see a new power. Okay, so it's a new power for a shroom boom. So you can actually view a video of a, another Skylander. That you can, of course, go purchase at your local retailer. Uh, I should talk about prices. So, the normal Skylanders, there are uh, there's new Skylanders and there's also Series Two. So there's uh, a lot of them from the first game that are back, but in new pose. Um, those are about the same price as they were before. There are ones that are, I think, a light scribe, or the ones that actually uh, they're a little bit higher quality, and they're eleven ninety nine, I believe, here in the U.S. And they actually light up a little bit. That's a pretty cool mechanic. That's a new thing. So I think that you have to be a giant to jump down there. So anyways, eleven ninety nine for those. They light up. Uh, they definitely have different packaging, so you can tell. And then the Giants. The Giants are... I'm amazed at the, at the build quality. And the, they feel like something serious. They're fourteen ninety nine in the U.S. And when you put them on the, the portal, they light up in an awesome way. Each one has a very unique way to, to light up. For instance, Tree Rex, or text, uh, yeah, Tree Rex, his eyes like like bright blue, and his hand, his right hand, see the green knob on the end of it. He's got that forward, and that like lights up big time. So that's pretty cool. That's definitely, um, you, you kind of actually at fifteen dollars seems like you get a lot more. So I'm gonna switch up. I'm gonna see if I can put in Swarm. Let's try Swarm, huh? So all I did was take off Tree Rex, and it says, oh, okay. So you're gonna switch, and it, you know, put a new one. So he's here we go, another giant. So he's huge too. So we got a melee attack, and here's a. And they kind of announced the new character, new enemies when you see them. So, all right. So it looks like I can fly, hover, and then when I hover, I shoot instead of. Okay, so you have three powers essentially. You have a, a pound to start off, I should say. You have a pound. You have a, a hover, but when you're in hover, that pound button now shoots. That's pretty cool. The yeah, animations are, you know, I think quite be quite good compared to what they were. Overall, just the quality seems to have <clears throat> stepped up. The one area they're still missing, and I don't understand it, is you can sit on the couch and play with your buddies, right? They can put, uh, I don't know how you'd fit too many <laughs> uh, giants on that portal at the same time, but you can p fit a couple on the portal, <clears throat> and you can play on the couch with your buddy. You can also battle, so there's like a battle arena if you want to take, you know, let's see how, let's see if my level 12 what whatever is as good as your level 10 whatever, so that's pretty cool. You can take it over to your friend's house, and that's the, that's the beauty of it, you, you know, kids can take it over to their friend's house, and everything about that Skylander, it lives on it. It's like a, it's like a little USB thing, so. Alright, so this is a good example of an area where I can't go in because I'm not the right kind of element. Every Skylander has an element, there's a whole bunch of, uh, you know air ones, or this is a leaf one, or earth, or whatever you want to call it. And it's actually in the front of them, too, and on the underneath them, you can see uh, what they are. So I switched back to, to Tree Rex, because he is the right element. And uh, let's go in there. 
I should say I'm probably getting some achievements here too, if you're into that. Uh, I just turn off notifications for games because uh, when you have uh, a friends list that's full, pretty much, even though at this time of the <laughs> this time of the morning it's probably not a problem. But so here's another example. This is very similar to um, the first game. These turtles, you push them all the way, and then in this case, I have to push them back in so that I can walk across the bridge to get uh, with the treasure or whatever is up here. Well, it looks like a, uh, some kind of gift. So yeah, the game the game seems to be playing real real nice, real smooth. Um, kind of, I guess, kind of what I expected. Uh, so far, not a huge uh, departure from the first game, just polished and anyways the one part that I was cut talking about is that the big thing that's missing is there's no online play and I don't understand that I mean I just maybe because it's a kids for kids focus game they don't want to go down that road but um you know why not just make it completely anonymous you know so here oh here we go so the, the turtle will only push push one way so then obviously I got to just come up here and just just drop off a ledge to get around that and that you're gonna run into stuff like that all, you know quite often there's usually a design so yeah, no online play. That's a huge bummer. Let's switch back to Swarm. Mm. No, let's throw Granite on there. Or Crusher, I should say. There is two versions of this guy. There's Crusher and then the Granite Crusher. Uh, one of them, the Granite Crusher, is only available at, at Target. If you're into that kind of thing. So this guy's, uh, this guy's got... Alright, let's see what that does in a minute. Okay, so you can control that back and forth. And that's going to do some damage. Alright, I like the marks he's leaving. That's pretty cool. <laughs> Very cool. So that guy's, uh, he is, the one that comes with it, uh, there's two different, I should talk about the packs, there's two different packs, there's, uh, Portal Owner's Pack, which is the one that I had to settle for, uh, because my Walmart apparently didn't have any 360 starter packs. So, uh, the Portal Owner's Pack, Portal Owner's Pack comes with, with the game and the tree rocks, and that's what you get with that, that's it. It's 60 bucks, so it's not bad when you consider, you know, normal games, 60 bucks. Looks like I'm going to switch to Swarm here and go over this other restricted area. Then there's a starter pack where you get the port, you get a portal, the game, uh, Tree Rex, and then two other uh, smaller uh, Skylanders. So, and that's $75, so it's actually a heck of a deal. You get the portal and two extra for $15, and normally, you know, that would cost you upwards of $20, $30. All right, so now I've switched to a character who can get over to this area. Right away, you get a treasure. That's cool. And, you know, this game does have, a, at least the first one, had a fair amount of puzzles. And I think they're challenging enough, but they're not um, they're not crazy as far as, you know, difficulty. So kids can really figure it out, and it's not really uh, much of a problem. All right, so this is kind of a newer thing. I don't, I don't remember too many. Oh, there was some rotating stuff like this, but uh, uh, his flying capability helps. And also, at the top left, you're going to see a symbol, and usually that indicates that you know in whatever particular area you are in, if you switch to a specific uh, what do you call it? element power uh, Skylander, you're, they're more powerful in that area. So. See that went away in the top left. Let's get back to Granite because I kind of like him. Or Crusher, I should. I keep calling Grant a Granite, but he's Crusher. It's crush hour. All right, so it looks like we got a boss on the horizon here. Throughout the level, there's going to be a bunch of people just want to talk to you. Unfortunately, I didn't see a way to. Maybe maybe you get it farther in the game, but last time you could hold on A and then kind of go fast on this text, but I'm not seeing it. I couldn't get it to work this time. All right, as per usual, just like uh, most games, uh, since the dawn of time, I think there's three of these that I'm going to have to get. I can see one off on the horizon. Uh, why everything's always threes, I don't get. But All right, so I did not hit Y there. I just... I just I just hammered it, and that worked really well, so. You have trespassed on the site of our glorious temple. Return to your post at once, and resume serving your Archean masters. Yeah, I really wish there was some kind of online so that you could just, you know, join random games and, and level up and just uh, 
just have fun with, you know, I don't even care if you didn't see gamer tags, if you didn't, you know, any of that kind of stuff doesn't really matter. But they're, they're, I, I just don't understand why. I suppose that'll be the the big thing in the next game. I'm sure there'll be another one next year. I know that uh, when I went there tonight, there was a bunch of uh, bunch of fathers and uh, mothers, you know, staying up late, getting the game for their friend or their kids, I should say. All right, so coming up here, I can see see the symbol on the ground. That's a that's a different element. That's not. So I want to get out there and get that that gift right there. So I'm going to switch to. Hold on a second. Let me go find. I think I have one Skylander, an older one. So this will be a good test. Let's see what these old ones look like. Give me one second. I had a few of them pulled aside just in case, and then the other ones are. Here we go. So take take off uh, Crusher and the spoil. Oh, here we go. This is a series series one. It even says series one hex. All right. I don't think I've ever played this character, so let's find out. All right. So not much to this. Oh, oh didn't see that. Watch out for those kind of things. So I mean, the, that's uh, that is. A Skylander from the, I got a hat. That's a Skylander from the very first game. So uh, you saw that it loaded right into the game, no problems. Um, so good. I'm, I'm glad that we were forced to do that right there. Now you can't bring the new ones to the old game. I mean that kind of goes without saying. But the old game will not recognize any of the new ones or the giants or anything like that. Let me just go up here because she's quicker, and then I'll switch. Whoa. Bring back our friend here. Yeah, it, you know, I haven't even all that you know shooting at me didn't even hurt my health. <laughs> it is a kid's game. I'm playing on the normal difficulty. There's easy, normal, and, and harder, I should say. Let's see if that does anything. To him. Doesn't seem to. Always keep an eye out for little things out, you know, you just, there we go, legendary treasure found. So, yeah, there's a good example of if, if I didn't see that right out of the corner of my eye, would have never gotten it, but just keep an eye out for that kind of thing. You know, I say if you have kids, if you have, uh, you know, I probably think, especially boys, uh, definitely seems geared towards that kind of thing, but I'm sure there's you know, girls that would like this too, but um, be careful. I mean, it, it is, it is, from what I understand, Lots of kids in school and stuff like that love this kind of stuff, and um, it's expensive. <laughs> so I mean, the, the the dad in front of me, uh, I think he last night spent about three hundred fifty dollars, and I was like, wow, you could get you could go ahead and buy the new Wii for that much. So and, and he wasn't even close to getting all the the pieces to it. So I went with just starter pack and a couple crushers, and it was well under a hundred dollars. But let's see what I think. Oh, there we go. There it is. So, the, you know, if, if your kids get into it, expect to, you know, m maybe go easy on the purchases for a while, so. Alright, let me cut in here. No more live commentary. I'm going to go ahead and say that uh, that is a wrap on the first chapter. Hope you enjoyed it, and I hope that this, you know, intrigued you. And maybe you're like, what the heck is the Skylanders thing? Now you know. So, uh, like I said, if you want to check out the intro cinematic, I'll have the link at the top. Otherwise, we really appreciate you stopping by and hope you enjoyed it. And uh, subscribe, and we've got videos on all sorts of things. Big week coming up, Forza Horizons and Medal of Honor. And uh, after that, some more stuff. So subscribe, get all that right, on, right into your feed. So have a great day. We appreciate it.